future agenda for council to consider. And we have two speakers that have signed up this evening. We'll start with Lisa Marie Coppoletta. Hi, Mayor. It's actually Coppoletta. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, it's open up here a bajillion times. I'm here today to talk about the preferred scenario amendment. We got this piece of paper at the neighborhood commission meeting. And it's like, whoa, the day after my birthday, they went ahead and started this whole process. And I'm noting you guys just finished the Hunter Road project, so it's great timing. I guess for me, we need to start establishing some sort of criteria for these developments. We need stewards and not scrubs when it comes to building. You think about it, Carson has been breaking a 2008 permit right across the street from that property. I've been squawking about that through, I don't know, going to neighborhood commission meetings, coming up here, and no one's done anything. He's not a steward. Uh, additionally, you've got that area over there by the county. It's come to my attention that he's been digging that up. There's been some illegal fill over there as well. So I wish y'all would be a little bit more proactive with that. It's interesting they were talking about the text dot thing, the overpass. I, I don't know. I'm just kind of perplexed why there hasn't been a shovel test. I learned how to dig for archaeological artifacts literally right across the street over there, you know, where the university is. And so I'm just not sure why there have, hasn't been a shovel test for that text dot project or why Mr. Uh, Carson can't be a st steward versus a scrub and use his private property maybe to invite those students to do a little bit of digging. The second reason is that that is purgatory hell, and we all know it. If you look at the trajectory of the time of this process, you guys aren't going to even get the flood data until it hits city council. So if that area is in the flood zone, why are we having this whole trajectory of this process workflow when you aren't going to even have the data on the flood? Now, everybody knows, thirdly, that the woodlands caused the flooding. And if you disagree with that, that's fine. That's your opinion as an American. However, there is the perception here in our community that that development caused the flood. And I live right over there by Purgatory Hill. And so I'm really concerned about this development. A scrub is a guy who thinks he's fly, right? And is also known as a buster. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to dig into that ground for a high-rise building right over the aquifer. We all know that area when you guys, Mayor Susan, did that whole road over there that was one big archaeological site, right? They found stuff on stilts and no one did anything about it. So it's unfortunate that we're going to dig more into that sacred area. I guess the final thing I wanted to say is I was looking at this agenda item y'all have, number 19. It's just another scrub situation. Look how much money y'all are giving these people. I had a great conversation with a member downtown, a local small business owner, and he's actually set up his gray water so it flushes the toilet, right? Why aren't these guys getting rebates? Those are cool, like ma and pa, innovative ideas. It's very proactive San Marcos. It's good San Marcos spirit, and we're not giving them any more money. I appreciate y'all's time. God bless San Marcos. Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Mr. Ted Bryan. I appreciate your patience, Mr. Bryan. Thank you, Mayor, Councilman, and other people. Oh, I think you have a letter there that I gave you. Yes, sir. Can, can you state your name for the record? Did you receive it? I, I believe so, yes, sir. Okay, you can but your name I've got your down. <clears throat> Mayor, I hate to say this, they're all good friends. We're all good friends in this town. Mr. Bryant, would you state your name for the record, sir? Ted Bryant. Thank you, sir. I live at 111 West Hillcrest. Uh, the street work that was done downtown in this project, drainage system, it, it, it's a joke. It's a big joke. The drain inlets, they're there, but the water runs right past them. They're not shaped. If you go look on the LBJ, you go look on Hunter Road, you see the water follows the trail wherever the dirt is. It'll run down into them if they're shaped that way. Downtown, they, they're not installed properly. I don't care who says what. I'll hire an engineer and meet your engineer down there. They're, they're not shaped where water runs into them. Water comes off Broadleaf Street, runs on down there. It starts towards your boat, and then it cuts straight across the street. What you're talking about here is digging it up again and making it right. you got your print shows what you want to issue a change order for. It's to put two inlets on Waterloo Street and six on uh, University Drive. I heard her say that the water starts on Waterloo Street. That's it before it makes the corner. Why let the water make the corner, just like you tried to do in front of Jack in the Box? 
you had the inlets in front of Jack in the Box on LBJ, you want the water to make the corner and then go into the inlet. They won't do it. I could pour a glass of water out here, it goes straight. Water goes the direction it wants to go. It's not going to go. If you curve a street, it'll follow it. You, you need to get an engineer. First place, have you paid for what's been done up there? Has, has that all been paid for? Has it been paid for yet? Mr. That's Miller, number one question. If it's been paid for, who accepted it? Who signed the work orders accepting what's been done? The inlets that were put in improperly. Who, who signed the work order for? We'll be able to touch on those. Castle, who did it? You, did y'all write the check? Who signed the check? Who authorized the payment? Sir, if you want to if they had been, they'd make them come back Mr. and Miller fix it. If you remember down in Allen, Texas, they built a football stadium and the damn thing fell apart. The engineers paid for it, the contractors, the insurance company, the bonding company paid for it. There's the bonding company. Make somebody stand up in this town. Don't just keep giving money. Give them another seven hundred thousand dollars. What the heck? You can raise taxes and get more money. That's my tax money, your tax money. Let's get this town straightened out. Okay? Go on down here and look at that list of what you're trying to do down there on that street. <laughs> Read that thing, what you got. You got it. It's out there in, in front of that book. There's no need letting the water make the corner first. Catch it where it starts if you want to do that. Okay? Figure it out within a week. When's the next council meeting? So that'll be October 20th. Thank you. You want me to bring the engineer in here? Thank you, ma'am. I'll push you. Very kind of you. Amen. Amen. Do we want to uh, jump into the next item? Oh, uh, number 13.